I'd like us to read Psalms chapter 23. Ningependa tusome Zaburi 23. The psalm that we have sung today. Zaburi ambayo tumeimba leo. As it's being put up, I want to take this opportunity to thank God. Nataka kumshukuru Mungu kwa nafasi hii. For an opportunity just to bring forth his word. Kuleta neno lake. And I also want to appreciate our Bishop and our mom in the house. Nashukuru askofu na mama yetu katika nyumba. God bless you so much. Mungu awabariki sana. For giving us a chance. Kutupatia nafasi. To just love the Lord in this place. Kumpenda Mungu mahali hapa. And serve the Lord and become. Na kufanya kutumikia Bwana. Bwana asifiwe. Amen. My name is Millicent Kaunda for those who are new. Naitwa Millicent Kaunda kwa wale ambao ni wageni. And so let's go straight to the word I am married. Nimeolewa. My husband is this young man. Mume wangu ni huyu kijana. Sianaka handsome. Yes. Amen and we are blessed with two nations. Tumebarikiwa na wana wawili. One will be turning 27. Mmoja anaelekea miaka 27. In two weeks time. Kumeka kwa miaka. The other one will be turning 24. Na mwingine atakuwa na fikia 29. In two weeks time. Kwa wiki mbili zijazo. Amen. Psalms 23 and we will read it together. Zaburi 23 na tutasoma kwa pamoja. One to go. A Psalm of David. The Lord is my shepherd. I lack nothing. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside quiet waters. He refreshes my soul. He guides me along the right paths for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I will fear no evil. For you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows. Surely, your goodness and love will follow me all the days of my life. I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Let's look at verse 5. In message translation, na tusome pamoja. Let's go. You serve me a six course dinner right in front of my enemies. You revive my drooping head. My cup brims with blessings. Praise the name of the Lord. Today we are looking at gratitude in suffering or thanksgiving in suffering. Be grateful when you're suffering. Naongea kuhusu kuwa na shukurani wakati wa kuumia ama wakati unasumbuka. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. A story is told of a man Habari imenenwa kuhusu mtu who was named Horatio Spafford. Ambaye alikuwa anaitwa Horatio Spafford. Now Horatio Spafford was a businessman. Yeye alikuwa ni mwanabiashara. He was a real estate businessman. Alikuwa ni mwanabiashara katika mambo ya, ya mashamba. But he was also an attorney in the nation where he was. Lakini pia yeye alikuwa ni mwanasheria katika taifa ambalo alikuwa. And so he had built a big business empire. Alikuwa amejenga biashara kubwa. And he was a very well known businessman. Na alikuwa anajulikana mwanabiashara ambaye anafahamika sana. But one morning, na siku moja asubuhi moja, he woke up and his entire business empire had crashed. Na aliamka na akapata biashara yake yote imeanguka. He had nothing that he had worked over for all those number of years. Everything had been lost. Kila kitu alikuwa amekipoteza. And as if that that was not enough. Na hiyo haitoshelezi. Uh, the story goes and tells us that during the same period of time na wakati huo huo pia he lost his 4 year old son akampoteza mtoto wake wa miaka minne through a scarlet fever kupitia hiyo homa and so that really beat him so hard ile ikamgusa kwa uchungu he has lost his entire business ampoteza biashara yote and now he has lost his son na pia amempoteza mtoto and so as they were mourning him and the wife and the other siblings of this child walipokuwa kiomboleza mtoto yule He thought the best thing that maybe would bring them comfort was a vacation. Akafikiria kila ambacho kitawapatia nafasi ni waende mahali papumziko. And so he planned for a vacation. Akaandaa safari ya kwenda kupumzika mahali. And he put his wife and the four daughters na akachukua mke wake na binti wake wanne in the ship so that they can go to the destination of the vacation he was to follow them after finishing a few things. Akaweka kwenye meli ili wafike penye sehemu ya pumziko yeye atawafuata baadaye. But unfortunately as the ship set sail na kwa kwa njia kwa kwa bahati mbaya wakati meli ilianza kwenda when it got into the deep seas ilipofika kilindini it capsized ikazama 
and they lost the four daughters na wakapoteza binti wake wanne and later on the wife arrived on the other side na mke wake akavuka ile ngambo nyingine alone because she was the only one rescued na ni yeye peke yake aliweza kusaidiwa and she sent a telegram to the husband na akatumia ujumbe mme wake and the telegram read na ikasoma hivi saved alone nimepona peke yangu what shall i do nitafanya nini saved alone nimepona peke yangu what shall i do nitafanya nini and the husband immediately got into another ship to go over so that he can comfort the wife na mume wake akaingia kwenye meli ili aende kumfariji mkewe and as the ship set sail na wakati meli ilianza kwenda getting right to the very place where the daughters had perished wakafika pale ambapo ajali ya meli ya kwanza ilitendeka the captain of the ship told him sir This is where your daughters perished. Na hapo akamwambia hapa ndipo wana wako waliangamia. And he kept quiet for a while, a Naka, moment of silence. Na kanyamazwa kwa muda. Then when he opened his mouth, alipofungua kinywa chake. These were the words that came from his mouth. Haya ni maneno ambayo alitoa katika kinywa chake. When peace like a river attended my way. When sorrows like sea billows roll Whatever my Lord thou hast taught me to say it is well it is well with my soul That's all he said even ndivyo aliposema because he knew i've lost everything alijua amepoteza kila kitu but there is only one thing that is left lakini kuna kitu kimoja ambacho kimesalia the peace of the lord jesus christ amani ya bwana yetu yesu kristo the peace of the lord jesus christ amani ya yesu kristo there are times when our lives will not go the way we want it to go kuna wakati maisha yetu hayataenda jinsi tunavyotaka there are times when sicknesses and diseases will strike kuna wakati magonjwa yatainuka there are times when losses will strike kuna wakati kutakuwa na hasara there are times when you and i will be betrayed kuna wakati ambayo tutakataliwa there are times when we will be rejected kuna wakati tutakataliwa pia but even when those times come na inaweza wakati zinapowajia it is well with my soul niko sawa na nafsi yangu because the peace of the lord jesus christ attendeth my way kwa sababu amani ya yesu kristo iko njiani mwangu praise the name of the lord amen this man knew this fully well huyu mtu akajaelewa hii vizuri sana he knew he could trust in the lord alifahamu anaweza muamini bwana many times it's easy to lift our hands high and say thank you lord when your prayers have been answered the very way you wanted them wakati mwingi unafurahia sana unaposema asante mungu maombi yako yamejibiwa jinsi ulivyotarajia when you prayed for provision and provision came ulipoomba upeanaji na ukapata when you prayed for a spouse and a spouse came ulipoomba mchumba na akakuja when you prayed for your business and it is soaring high ulipoomba biashara yako na inanawiri vizuri but what of that moment when things are not adding up je ni wakati ambapo mambo ni magumu what of that moment when hell breaks loose in your life ni wakati ambapo kuzimi imekutembelea katika maisha yako can you still lift your hands up and say thank you jesus je unaweza inua mikono yako na muambie yesu asante what of that moment when your marriage has broken you have tried all you know how to do but it failed anyway wakati ambapo umejaribu na ndoa yako imeanguka utafanya nini what of that moment when you have just lost your job umepoteza tu kazi is it still well je bado iko vema praise the name of the lord jina la bwana libariki is it still well je bado iko vema i want us to look at two levels of gratitude nataka tuangalie viwango viwili vya shukrani The first level is what I call the basic level of gratitude. Ni ile kiwango cha kawaida tu cha kushukurani. This is a moment when everything is going well with you so you can tell the Lord you know I love you. Hii mambo yanaenda vizuri naambia Mungu nakupenda. Yes because you prayed for a husband and a husband came so I love you. Uliombea kuhusu mme na akakuja so namwambia nakupenda bwana. You prayed for rent and rent was provided so I love you. Uliomba kuhusu kodi na kodi ikakuja na ukasema nakupenda are doing well so you are able to say lord i thank you watoto wako wanafanya vyema unaambia mungu nakupenda and this is the level that moses of old taught us na hii ndio viwango ambavyo musa wa kitambo alitueleza when he was saying in the land 
that he is taking you after you have eaten and are full remember the Lord your God. Alipoambia ule mtu ambao anawapeleka ambapo mshakula na mkashiba mkumbuke Bwana Mungu wenu. Why? Because it's very easy when I'm full to thank the Lord. Ni vizuri sana hapo nimeshiba kumshukuru Mungu. It's very easy when I'm dressed to thank the Lord. Nimeshukuru kama niko na mavazi nimshukuru Mungu. It's very easy when I'm not admitted in the hospital to thank the Lord. Ni rahisi kama niko na afya naweza mshukuru Mungu. That is what I'd call the basic level of gratitude. Hiyo ni kiwango cha kawaida tu cha shukrani. Because here we are trusting and thanking God for what we can see with our eyes. Tunashukuru Mungu kwa kila ambacho tunaweza kiona na macho yetu. At that moment it's easy for us to lift our hands and say thank you Jesus. Wakati kama huo ni rahisi kuinua mikono na mwambie Yesu asante. But there is another level of gratitude. Lakini kuna kiwango kingine cha shukrani. Which I'd like us to look at today. Na ningependa tutazamie siku ya leo. This is what I call the mature level of gratitude. Hii ni hali ya kukomaa shukrani ya ukomavu. Or the higher level of gratitude. Ama kiwango cha juu cha shukrani. It's a level that is mature enough to thank God in challenges. Ni wakati kiwango ambacho kimekomaa ya kushukuru Mungu wakati wa changamoto. Things are not adding up but you're saying Lord I will still thank you. Mambo hayaendi vema lakini utaambia Mungu bado nakushukuru. You are it's that the level that uh, Job went through that even after losing all his property all his children he tore his clothes and then he was able to lie prostrate before the Lord and said I naked I came naked shall I come back I worship you anyway. Hiyo ndio hali Ayubu alipitia wakati mambo yote alikuwa amepotea akadorua nguo mavazi yake na akamwambia Mungu nilikuja uchi kwa kwa na mimi ndio huyu nimekuja tena. As we go back to the book of uh, Psalms tunaporudi katika kitabu cha Zaburi Psalms 23 Zaburi 23 If we can have Psalms 23 again projected for us. Inapo kwa pale kwa runinga kwa ajili yetu. Praise the name of the Lord. Jina la Bwana libarikiwe. Even when the screen is not showing, it is still praise the Lord. Bwana asifiwe. Amen. <laughs> Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. Psalms 23, what does it say in verse 1? Inasema aje katika mstari wa kwanza. The Lord is my shepherd, I lack Nothing. Bwana ni mchungaji wangu sitapungukiwa kitu. And a child in Sunday school was given this uh, verse to this chapter to memorize. Mtoto katika shule ya, ya Jumapili akapatiwa nafasi hii ili kufanya hiyo. So the following Sunday when he came he stood in front of the other kids and he forgot the entire of uh, the, the chapter and this is what he said. Alisahau mambo mengine lakini akasema hii. The Lord is my shepherd that's all I want. Bwana ni mchungaji wangu na hiyo ndio nataka tu. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. And so here David is saying the Lord is my shepherd. I lack nothing. Daudi anasema Bwana ni mchungaji wangu sitapungukiwa kitu. Then when we go to verse 2, mstari wa pili, verse 2, he makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. At this moment it is still very easy to say thank you Lord. Why? Because he is uh, he's your shepherd, you lack nothing. Mara wakati kama huu ni rahisi kusema asante Mungu kwa sababu ni yeye ni mchungaji wako na haujakosa kitu. You can still be able to say that he is making you lie down in green pastures and therefore beside still waters you lack nothing. Anakuongoza kwenye maji matulivu na haujakosa chochote. You get to verse 3. Mstari wa 3 Vastri he still doing great things in your life Anafak- you are able to say he refreshes my soul Ananyoisha nafsi yangu He guides me along the right paths for his name's sake Anyongoza kwenye njia za haki kwa ajili ya neno lake And so verse 1 to verse 3 it's very easy to get to the basic level of gratitude and tell the Lord you are my shepherd I love you I will worship you I live for you forever Utamwambia Mungu nakupenda na nitakuishia milele But a time comes when verse 4 sets in Lakini mstari wa 4 unasema hivi Praise the name of the Lord what does it say It says even though tell your neighbor even though hata kama even if he does not lead me besides the still waters hata sipo nipeleka kwenye maji matulivu and so it says even though i walk through the valley of the shadow hata of ninapopita kwenye bonde la mauti Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. There are days when we will walk through the valley of the shadow of death. Kuna nyakati tutapitia kwenye bonde la mauti. Will God have relocated? No, he will still be seated upon his throne. Na Mungu bado atakuwa ameketi katika enzi yake. In the Bible the book of Psalms chapter 11 verses 3. Zaburi 11 mstari wa 3. 
What does the Bible says? When the foundations are being destroyed, what shall the righteous do? Misingi inapoharibiwa, je, mwenye haki atafanya nini? There are times when the Lord will allow you, will allow me to walk through the valley of the shadow of death. The foundations will look like they are shaking. Everything is falling apart. But what the Bible tells us in verse 4 of uh, Psalms chapter 11, it says that the Lord is still on the throne. Ya Praise kwa, the name of the Lord. Yuko bado yuko enzini. The fact that you are going through, the fact that the foundations have been shaken does not mean that the Lord has relocated. Kama misingi imetingisika haimaanishi kwamba Mungu hayupo. He is still seated on the throne. Bado yeye yuko enzini. He is still in charge. Yeye bado ndiko katika ushukani. He is still in charge of your family though it looks like it is crumbling. Yeye ndiye ameshikilia familia yako hata kama inakaa kama inagamia. He is still remaining as faithful as ever. Bado yeye ni mwaminifu kama kale. Even when things are as difficult as they are. And so David had gotten to that point where he knew that even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. Why was he very courageous? The next uh, statement says, For you are with me. Ni kwa sababu yuko na mimi. You are with me. Kwa sababu yuko na mimi. He knew the valley is dark. Alijua bonde liko na giza. But you oh God are with me. Lakini wewe Mungu uko pamoja nami. I have lost everything. But you oh God are with me. Kwa sababu wewe Mungu uko pamoja nami. I am going through a hard time Napi, in my family. Napitia wakati mgumu na familia yangu. But you oh God are with me. Lakini e Mungu uko pamoja nami. I've not been able to pay rent for the last 4 months. Sijaweza lipa kodi kwa miezi minne. But you oh God are with me. Lakini e Mungu uko pamoja nami. Because the Bible says even though I walk through. Biblia inasema hata napitia I'm walking through. Napitia ndani. I am not standing still. Sisimami tu. I am walking through. Napitia ndani. Meaning I am going to emerge victorious. Inamaanisha nenda kuwa mshindi. I am not stagnant in here. Sijasimama pale tu. I am not standing in the situation. Sisimami katika hali. I am walking through. Napitia ndani. I have lost. Nimepoteza. But I am walking through. Lakini napitia. I am in tears. Niko katika machozi. But I am walking through. Lakini napitia. I have been sent away from my workplace. Nime fukuzwa kazini lakini napitia kuna mwangaza pale mwisho ninapofika mwisho nitakuwa mshindi ninapitia ndani they tell the other one i am not sinking i am walking through sizami napitia ndani tu tell them i am not standing still i am walking ya kwamba sisimami tu pale napitia ndani praise the name of the lord amen Right now we are busy celebrating 40 years. Tuko hapa tunasherekea miaka 40. Of this ministry having ya, been in existence. Ya huduma hii tangu utangulizi wake. But I want to tell you for sure if you'd have ch- a chance to sit down with our bishop and our mom. Unapokuwa nafasi uketi na askofu wetu na mama yetu. Within the 40 years. Kwa hizo miaka 40. There have been seasons of even though. Kumekuwa na nyakati za kwamba hata kama. There have been seasons where they have walked through. Kuna mambo ambayo wamepitia. But because they walked through Kwa sababu wale pita ndani they were not standing still Hawakusimama pale Today we can be able to say Ebenezer Na leo tunaweza sema Ebenezer We can be able to celebrate together Tunaweza sherekea kwa pamoja Because they walked through Kwa sababu wale pita ndani You are seated there and I'm standing here today U- Umeketi pale na nilisimama papa They never gave up bwana asifiwe Hawakukata tamaa They never gave up Hawakukata tamaa And so I want to challenge you my brother na, my sister Na kutia changamoto dada yangu so long as you are walking through do not stop Usisimame. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. So long as you are walking through, do not stop. Usisimame. It could be right now you are even wondering how am I going to take care of my children? The schools are closing two whole months. What do I do with my teenagers? Miezi miwili wanafunzi wanakuja nyumbani. Utafanya nini nao? You are walking through. Unapitia ndani. And we will walk through. Na tutapitia ndani. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. And we are co- we are so confident because we know the Lord is with Tuko na uhakika kwa sababu tunajua Mungu yupo pamoja nasi. I am not walking through alone. Sipitii hii peke yangu. I am walking through and the Lord is with me. Ninapitia ndani na Bwana yupo pamoja nami. And he is not only with me. Na yuko tu pamoja nami. The Bible says that his rod and his staff 
they comfort me. Gongo lake na fimbo yake yanifariji. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. That is all I need. Ile ambacho nahitaji tu. I can be able to lift my voice and say thank you Lord. Naweza inua sauti yangu na nisemeye asante bwana. My tears could be flowing because of the pain but thank you Lord. Naweza kuwa na machozi lakini ile kwa sababu nasema asante bwana. I could be going through various disappointments but thank you Lord. Ninakuwa nimeshushwa na mambo mengi lakini namwambia asante bwana. You are rod and your staff they comfort me. Kwa sababu gongo lako na fimbo yako vyanifariji. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. And I was just thinking what's a rod and what's a staff. Nilikuwa nafikia gongo na fimbo ni nini? Now these were two tools. Ah hizi zilikuwa ni vifaa viwili that was so necessary for a shepherd ambazo zilikuwa ni vya maana sana kwa mchungaji the rod was something that looked like a rungu unajua rungu ya masai it looked like a rungu ilikaa kama rungu and the shepherd would use a rod na angetumia ile fimbo to hit any predator that would want to attack the sheep kupiga wale wanyama wangeweza kuja kuangamiza kondoo praise the name of the lord amen So that was a rod. Hiyo ilikuwa ni fimbo. The shepherd used it to hit an enemy. Alichukua kuwalinda wanyama, kuwalinda kondoo. He also had another instrument that he called a staff. Na alikuwa na ile ambayo aliita gongo. The staff was a long stick. Ilikuwa ni kijiti kirefu. That had a curved top. Ambayo like ilikuwa imejikunja pale mbele. Now what was it being used for? Ilitumika kufanya nini? In case the sheep would be straying to places they are not supposed to stray. Kama kondoo wangeenda sehemu ambazo hawafai kwenda. The shepherd would stretch the staff angenyoosha ile gongo get hold of the sheep by the neck na ashike katika shingo and pull it back on the way na awarejeshe katika njia praise the name of the lord amen many times when we are going through hard circumstances wakati mwingi tunapopitia changamoto we find ourselves wanting to stray away tunajipanda tunataka kuenda katika ingia katika njia panda there are so many dangers that want to hit us kuna hatari mingi zinakuja njia yetu that is the moment someone will come and tell you my sister hiyo ndio wakati Mungu atakwambia atakwa dada yangu Haven't you waited for a husband for long? So umengojea mme kwa muda? So you can take this one then you will preach to them later. Si uchukue huyu alafu utamhubiria baadaye kwa nyumba. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Or someone is telling you. Ama mtu anakwambia your child has not been performing well. Mtoto wako hakuwa anafanya vema. It is because they have been bewitched. Ni kwa sababu wamefanywa uchawi. Come I take you to a place there What? is a muombaji at the corner next to my house. Wacha nikupeleke kwa muombe mahali fulani Now at those moments wakati kama huo you need the Lord to use the rod and the staff staff to bring you back Unahitaji Mungu atumie gongo na fimbo akurejeshe And so even in moments of suffering hata kwa wakati wa kuumia So long as you allow yourself to be brought back by the Lord Unapoachilia Mungu akurejeshe kwenye njia You will not stray elsewhere Hautaenda njia panda Come on turn to your neighbor and tell them I am not going to stray Ya kwamba sitaenda kinyume Tell them my sister it is hard what i'm going through ni ngumu kile ambacho napitia but i'm not going to go astray lakini sitaenda kinyume i'll wait for the next instruction from the lord nitangojea maagizo ya bwana i'll wait until he speaks to me nitangojea mpaka niongeleshe his rod and his staff they comfort me gongo lake na fimbo lake vyanifariji praise the name of the lord amen so what we are saying today tunasema nini leo is that in as much as we could be going through hard times hata wakati tunapitia mambo magumu we will still praise the lord tutaendelea kumsifu bwana and when you go to verse 5 what does verse verse 5 say in the message translation mstari wa 5 unasema nini verse 5 It says you serve me a six course dinner right in front of my enemies. Unaniandalia meza mbele ya adui wangu. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. He has not chased the enemies. He wants to see you eat in the presence of your enemies. Hajawafukuza maadui, anakuandalia meza mbele yao. And I was just thinking of a dining table like this. Nilikuwa naangalia meza yangu. And I'm seated just at the dining table. Na nimekaa pale mezani. And I'm seeing the Lord bring six course dinner na bona sifiwe. Amen. Unajua six course ni nini? Ina na iko na starter soup. Iko na pale eh soup ya kwanzi ya kianzi. Then iko na fruits. Matunda yako pale. Iko na the main meal which has chicken. I'm saying chicken because I love chicken. It has chicken. <laughs> iko na kuku pale. It has rice, it has chapos. And when you are through with that one there is a juice somewhere for you to add Bade there is an kuna... ice cream somewhere for you to add just imagine a six course dinner Angalia chamcha kama hiyo posho posho kama haya 
na mwana amekukalisha katika meza next to you kando yako there is the enemy of loss kuna adui wa kupoteza next to, on this other side sehemu nyingine there is rejection kuna kukataliwa on the other side katika sehemu nyingine there is betrayal kuna kukataliwa on that other side Waka, ili sehemu there nyingine. is hatred kuna kuchuki all of them are seated around this table wote wameketi kando hiyo the meal that is being served lakini chakula hapa is not meant for them sio yao it is meant for me ni, praise ni the yangu. lord amen bwana yesu asifiwe amen it is meant for me to enjoy ni yangu ili niweze kuburudika while they are looking at you unakula wangata unakuangalia while they are wondering what is this that is happening wana unashangaa nini hii inafanyika now the choice is up to you because many times the lord sets a table for us chaguo ni lako wakati mwingi mungu ana kuendalia meza but you choose to concentrate on the enemy lakini wewe unachagua kuangalia oh, maadui how i pray that this 20th day na naomba siku ya leo we will concentrate on the sumptuous meal that the lord is giving to us tutaangalia chakula ambacho mwana anatuandalia we will not concentrate on the issues that the enemy has been doing hatutaangalia mambo ambayo adui alikuwa akitufanyia we are not going to talk about what he has done or what he has not done hatuongelee kile ambacho amefanya na kile ambacho hajafanya because the lord is with me right here sababu bwana yupo pamoja nami so i'm not concentrating on the presence of losses so siangalii kupoteza i'm not concentrating on the pre- pre- on the presence of betrayal si- siangalii ile mambo ya kukataliwa i'm not concentrating on the presence of rejection siangalii ile mambo ya kukataliwa ah, i am concentrating on the presence of the lord naangalia uwepo wa mungu praise the name of the lord amen i don't know what it is that you have been going through sijui ulikuwa unapitia nini wewe but it's time to lift our eyes to the Lord. Ni wakati wa kuinua macho yetu kwa Mungu. And fix it right on him. Na tumtazamie yeye. And begin praising the name of the Lord. Na tuanze kulisifu jina lake. Begin giving him a dance in the midst of the church. Tuanze kumpatia mchezo katika changamoto. Begin lifting your voice and giving him a praise in Uinue the midst of the church. Uinue sauti yake na usifu katikati ya adui. Until the enemy will get into a confusion. Hata adui aweze kuchanganyikiwa. In the name of the Lord. Kwa jina la Bwana. Praise the name of Jesus. Amen. That's what I'd call the mature level of gratitude. Hiyo ndio kiwango cha ukomavu ya shukurani. A mature level of gratitude. Ukomavu wa shukurani. There are days when you won't even feel like praying. Kuna nyakati unahisi hata huwezi omba. But like Don Moen sang a song and say. Jesus Don Moen alipoimba akasema, Lord you seem so far away. A million miles or more it feels today. It's not that I have lost my way. I must confess right now that it's hard for me to pray for I don't know what to say I don't know where to start but as you give the grace with all that's in my heart I will sing I will praise even in my darkest hour through the sorrow and the pain i will sing i will praise lift my hands to one at you because your word is true i will sing in other words what i'm saying the doctors have said i have cancer but i will sing praise the name of the lord amen oh yes the, the, my husband has oh, thought of me to be useless in this season and they have chased me out of the house but i will sing praise the name oh yes my children could be struggling with drugs but i will sing i may not have money to pay my rent but i will sing i am going to sing and sing because i know his word is true najua kwamba neno lake ni kweli i know his word is true najua neno lake ni kweli praise the name of the lord amen that is the level of gratitude that i'm calling mature level of gratitude ni kiwango kikuu cha ukomavu cha sana the lord wants to lift us to that level in this season anataka tuinue katika kiwango hicho mwakati yes maybe i have gone to school i have my degree i do not have the job that i had anticipated for but i'm going to do what i, I will, will sing, sing. Nitaweza kuimba. Hallelujah. Amen. I will sing. Nitaimba. I will praise. Nitasifu. I will wake up in the morning. Nitaamka asubuhi. I will shower 
and put on a dress and the garments of praise Nani because yushifu. the season of mourning is over. Amen. Wakati the season of mourning is over. Imeisha. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. I'd like us to rise up on our feet. I don't know what it is that you need to sing about. I don't know what enemy is around you but today. If you can lift your voice and praise in the midst of in the presence of your enemy. You can lift your voice and tell the enemy I know you are here but I'm going to sing. I'm going to praise. I'm going to lift the name of my God. Oh yes because his word is true. And he watches his word to perform it. He watches his word to perform it. He is not a man to lie. If he said he will bless me he will bless me. If he said he will lift me he will lift me. And so I will sing. I will sing. I will sing. I will sing. I will praise. I might look like a crazy woman but I will praise. I might look like a madman but I'm going to praise. Oh yes someone who is crazy enough lift your voice and you can sing your song of praise. You can sing just your song of praise. Because the Lord is in this place today. Father, we exalt you. We are here to sing your praises, Lord. We are here to say it is well with our souls. We are here to lift you, my God. We will bless your name, Jesus. We will bless your name, our Father. Oh God, we decree and declare that you receive all the praises. It might not be okay, but Lord, we decree and declare you receive all the praises. You receive all the honor. Oh God, we lift your name and we worship you today. Come on, someone, praise extravagantly. Praise extravagantly. Let the enemy get into a confusion this morning. Let him get into a confusion this morning. Oh God, we worship you today. Oh, Shekana Lamahana. We give you praise as the ministry team just walks in the front. Maybe there's someone who has been put down by the enemies. Oh yes, you can come and join together with the ministry team here. You can come and join together with the ministry team here so that they can help you sing that song that has become so hard for you to sing. They can help you sing. Thank you, Jesus. Una to faraja mbayo mwana tamu hawezi toa haufana nishwi na kitu kingine oh haufana nishwi na kitu yes maybe you're there today and you just want a ministry team member to help you sing a song in the face of what the doctors told you. I don't know what they told you. But you're feeling like today I want to sing a song. I don't even know where to start or where to begin. But you can come so that someone can help you sing a song today as you pray together. 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 In the name of Jesus. The enemy could have pressed you down. I do but we are saying it. we are rising above the circumstances. And we are lifting our voices to sing a song. We are lifting our voices to sing a song today. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Because we are not going under. We are going to sing a song even though. We are singing a song even though. Oh yes, even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I am going to sing a song because I'm walking through. I am not stagnant. I am walking through. I will emerge a victor. I will emerge a victor in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We bless your name, oh God. We honor you, Jehovah. Thank you, Lord. 
Madabahu yuko wazi unaweza mpokea Yesu Kristo Because the psalmist says even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death I will fear no evil for the Lord is with me Kwa sababu Bwana yuko pamoja nami Now the challenge is if the Lord is not with you Changamoto ni kama kama Bwana hayuko pamoja na wewe You have to be afraid Ni lazima utaogopa You came into this sanctuary you are in the tent in the overflow at the balcony you are here in the ground floor Uko hapa And maybe you do not know the Lord Jesus Christ as savior. Na haumjui Bwana kama mwokozi wa maisha yako. I want to invite you to salvation today. Ningependa kukuita katika uokovu leo. The altar is open. Madhabahu yako wazi. He's saying I love you. Ningependa useme na anakupenda. He's saying if you are alone and have died for you on the cross of Calvary. Mwambie Bwana amekuanjia katika Do not go home today unsaved. Usiende nyumbani kama haujaokoka. Do not go home today unsaved. Usiende nyumbani kama haujaokoka. Do not go home today unsaved. Usiende nyumbani kama haujaokoka. Oh yes, do not go home today unsaved. Usiende nyumbani kama haujaokoka. Go home with hope. Enda katika tumaini. Go home with a way and the way is Jesus Christ. Enda na njia na njia ni Yesu Kristo. He is the breaker of all chains. Yeye ndiye anavunja minyororo yote. Micah the prophet calls him the breaker. Yeye anamwambia imvunjaji. He is the breaker today. Yeye ndiye anavunja minyororo. Do not go home and saved. Usiende nyusipu pasipo kuokolewa. The altar is open today. Madhabahu yako wazi. Just run to the altar. Kuja tu kwa madhabahu. And give your life to Jesus. Na umpokee Yesu Kristo. Give your life to Jesus. Umpokee Yesu Kristo. Thank you Jesus we worship you. Tunakuabudu Bwana. You are the miracle worker God. Wewe ni mtenda miujiza. You are the miracle worker. Wewe ni mtenda miujiza. Asante Bwana. Thank you Jesus. Asante Bwana. Your name is Yahweh. Your name is Yahweh. You are the miracle working God. Your name is Yahweh. Oh your name 